Hey guys. Hey. You know what this is? Uh, no, I don't. What is this? This is our summer cup. It's uh, what it does is it teaches on it what a standard drink unit is. So what it helps you do is measure exactly how much alcohol is in a glass. You want to give it a try? Sure. All right. Uh, just what I want you to do is just pour a typical beer, a uh, glass of wine, or shots, and whiskey on the rocks. Go ahead. All right. Good. Now let's see how much you actually poured in, in those, uh, how much alcohol is in those drinks, all right? So what I want to show you is this uh, summer cup beaker here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour each one of those in that, uh, this beaker here, and we'll find exactly how much is in there. Oh, wow. Looks like you poured, uh, looks like just about, uh, about one, one and a, about one, a little bit over one and a quarter. So if you were, if so, you or someone you know were to have about uh, four drinks, how many would you actually have? Five. Five, exactly. All right. So let's let's uh, try this again here, and we'll try it with the wine. All right. Let's pour it in. All right. And so, oh, here we go. And we have our wine. Uh, again, it looks like about one and a half right there. So again, if someone was to have uh, four of those, and you had one and one and a half drinks in that glass. How many actually standard drink units would you actually have? Five again. Uh, actually, six. about six. 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 Yeah, okay. believe it or not, six. Yeah. All right. So let's try this again. This time we're gonna we're gonna use our uh, smaller beaker for the shots glass here. And let's see. Pour that in here, so you can see it clearly. Ooh, that is two. If you can see that right there, that is actually two standard drink units. Can you imagine? Someone had, had uh, they drank five of those in a night. How much alcohol would they actually have? Be a lot. Eight yeah. Ten. It double what they thought. So that's, that's something to watch out for. All right. So you see uh, Whiskey on the Rocks? Yeah. So what we're going to do, or it could be Vodka Rocks or something like that. This is before you add any, anything else. Let's see what we got here. All right. All right, so let's pull, let's look here, and we have our uh, spirits here. All right, here we go. Can you see what that says? It's about three. About three. Isn't that amazing? All right, so this is a typical cup you can find at a party. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this drink, all right, and you let me know if this is about, tell me when. Right there. All right, right there. All right, so actually that's about up to here. All right, so that's that's not a little boring at all. So let's go ahead and pour that in there. All right, let me show you something here. So if we're the if this was beer, that glass, one and a quarter. All right. Now if just so happens it they fill with a strong drink like wine. Let's see what we got here. And wow, that's a, that's about th that's almost three. All right, you ready for this? Now imagine if it was something stronger. Wow. Now, now just, just think maybe it was, it was half that. Would that be okay? No, it's still a lot of alcohol. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. What could be the consequences of not understanding how much alcohol is in a drink? You get drunk really fast and not even realize what hit you. Yep, yep. Well, what's another thing that could possibly happen? They could think that they only had like two drinks when they actually ended up having four or six. Yeah, and, and, and if they come to decide, oh, I only had a couple drinks, I'm okay to drive home. You think they'd be okay? No, not at all. Yeah, that, that, you know, and this, it leads, can lead to another type of behavior, which is uh, inadvertent toxic drinking. You know, it can lead to blood alcohol poisoning and some really undesired consequences from that. All right. So, what are some ways we can actually know that we're pouring a uh, standard drink unit? You could give us that beaker. Yeah, I suppose that is one way, but it, what's another way? Um, I don't know what to say, actually. They're like, you could have glasses where there's, you know exactly how much alcohol is going in. Yeah, that's good, that's good. But what else would you have to know, you know, you could pour anything into that glass. What do you think you'd have to know? You'd also have to know the percentage of alcohol in that drink in order to actually know. That's right. That's real good. All right. Those are all great suggestions. All right. So we can, we can know exactly what's going on in the glass 
and how much uh, and how much an actual standard drink unit is. All right. So, hey, got one more thing to show you guys. All right. You ready? Yeah. Yep. That was pretty cool. All right. We got one more thing to know exactly uh, what a person's BAC was in a typical drinking scenario. That'd be great. Sure. Sure. What we're going to do here is give a sample scenario based on a person's gender, weight, uh, time they start drinking, what, how much alcohol is in that drink, and how long it takes for that alcohol to get out of their system, and what their uh, estimated BAC could be. All right. So let's start with a male. What's a good What's a good sample weight for a male? About 180 pounds. About 180. All right. Let's do that here. All right. So do a male, and uh, go up to 180. And what's what's a good weight for a female? What do you think? 125. 125. All right. All right. Let's say put her weight at 125. Okay. So what? What do you think? Uh, and what be a good time that, that uh, they would start drinking? Let's say it's a party. It's Friday night. They're drinking at the same same rate, same time. What uh, time? Nine o'clock. About yeah. nine o'clock. All right. So let's go at nine o'clock. And uh, let's, like I said, let's make it a party scenario. And uh, let's say this is filled with beer, all right? Just, just a, uh, a beer. And when someone poured this glass, how much was in this glass? Do you remember? A cup and a quarter. Yeah, about a cup and a quarter. All right. So it's a, it's, a, it's a one and a quarter of a standard drink units. So if they ha they had four, they actually had five. 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 Yeah. All right. So let's just play it out and just see what their BAC would be if they had uh, four of those in a little over an hour, all right? So let's do that here. All right, and they consume each one in about 15 minutes. All right, in a little bit over an hour, they had, they had a, looks like a 4.9 SDUs, all right? So look, let's look at the, the male here, all right? So what's his BAC level at after about an hour and a quarter? 0.06. Yep, 0.06, all right. And what about the female? Almost 0.14. Almost 0.14, all right. Now look at look at the guy here. What time is it that alcohol didn't get out of the guy's system? 4.25 in the morning. Yep. You start at 9, but it's going to take till almost, uh, almost 4.30 in the morning to get out of the system, all right. Now again, look at the female, and uh, point, almost 0.14, and still rising, by the way. All right, now look at uh, what time it gets out of her system. It's almost 11 o'clock in the morning. Yep. So let's say if she had to work uh, at 8 o'clock in the morning the next day, she'd still go into work with yeah. alcohol in her alcohol. system. All right. So let's uh, let, but like I said, it's still rising here. Let's see what the, the end game is and see where the BAC would peak out if they stop there. Now, that's only four of these. Let's, let's take a look here. All right. Look at, the, look at where it peaks out. For the, for the guy... Looks like it's, it peaks out just a little bit over 0 .08. All right, so he would actually reach the legal limit. But his last drink, I don't know, Harv, see if you can see here, his last drink, he, he finished at, at 10 o'clock in the evening. So if he said, you know what, I'm going home, I'm having an a, a early night, but if he, drink, if he goes home an hour later, he's going to go up the point zero eight range. And he thought he was less than that. All right? Now the female, look at her, where she peaks out at. That's about a, above a 0.18, all right? So uh, she may not have realized that she was starting at that point and wanted to get to that level, but sometimes people don't understand what's in the glass and how quickly their BAC can rise based on their gender and weight and how quickly they started drinking, all right? Now, what could we do to prevent a situation like this?